Hey guys, today I wanted to make a, a quick video about price inflation. And when I mean inflation, I'm using that term in, instead of gorging, because you know, I would probably use gorging because that's more, uh, sim that's what I want to say. So Star City Games for Over the Gate Watch uh, already put up its fat pack price. Now what is the price? Is it like $39.99? No, it's $49.99, which is $10 above MSRP. Star City Games has every right to do so, and they will continue to do so, because if, it, if they can sell it for $10 more, why not? Because that's $10 per profit, right? So a, if a fat pack is purchased for $28 at a distributor level, if they can sell it for $30, they make two bucks. If they sell it for $40, they make 12 bucks. If they sell it for 50 bucks, they make a lot of money. They make $22. And that's a huge amount because that 10 extra dollars is pure profit. I don't agree with them doing it though, because I would rather have them not have pre-orders and then see where the market is than have pre-orders at $50. Because that kind of, that makes other stores, every store looks at Star City Games as the golden standard. They do have very excellent customer service and whenever I need to buy something to fix, to fit in my EDH deck, Star City Games is a person I buy from because I know I can get the card relatively fast. But this encourages other stores, including local stores, to copy or mimic this price inflation. And we are so early. I mean, Over the Gate Crash is January in 2016, next year, and already we've seen a $10 up increase of this product pre-order. Now, I normally love David Adams, but they still have boxes of Zendikar for fat packs of Zendikar for $65.99 or $64.99. They had them at one point for $70 or $75. And obviously Star City Games had their battle for Zendikar at $80 for a fat pack. That's like how much people pay for a box. And it's kind of this I don't know what it is. I see that some store local stores in Houston inflate their prices as well which is a bad practice I feel because these boxes these fat packs they will still be on yourselves now and yes you might be the only one who has them but your demand has also decreased as well so when I see like a fat pack on Craigslist for $80 from a single seller and then it's like okay it's $80 and I can lose my liver or my kidneys I think the liver is like one piece, right? You have two kidneys. Okay, I'll lose my kidneys. Uh, you can still survive, right? And, you know, it's very, very creepy. I don't really know what to make out of it, but the price gorging just has to stop. Like, it has to stop. I think Star City Games, uh, they are in a position to make it stop or at least not encourage it as much as they do because having a pre-order for... $49.99 for a fat pack that doesn't really release until two plus months from now. Like, what does that really say to the marketplace? I don't know. Anyway, bye guys.